फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ऑफ कोर्स वेन वी से दिस वी मस्ट नोट बी अंडरस्टूड टू मीन दैट वेन एवर देयर इज डिले इन अरेस्टिंग द डिटेन्यू परसुएंट टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ डिटेंशन द सब्जेक्टिव सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ द डिटेनिंग अथॉरिटी मस्ट बी हेल्ड टू बी नोट जेनवन और कलरेबल ईच केस मस्ट डिपेंड ऑन इट्स ओन पेक्यूलियर फैक्ट्स एंड सर्कमस्टांसिस The detaining authority may have a reasonable explanation for the delay, and that might be sufficient to dispel the inference that its satisfaction was not genuine. Having held as above, Bhagwati Judge, as the learned Chief Justice then was, pointed out that if there is any delay in arresting the detainee pursuant to the order of detention. which is prima facie unreasonable the state must give reasons explaining the delay a similar contention was raised in suresh mehto versus the district magistrate bardwan and others 1975-3 scc 554 on the basis of the dictum laid down in two decisions of this court contending that the delay of the arrest of the detainee in that case showed that the detaining authority was not really and genuinely satisfied as regards the necessity for detention of the detainee for otherwise he would have tried to secure the arrest of the detainee promptly and not left him free to carry on his nefarious activities bhagwati judge as the learned chief justice then was while dealing with this submission made the following observation now there can be no doubt and the law on this point must be regarded as well settled by these two decisions that if there is unreasonable delay between the date of the order of detention and the date of arrest of the detainee such delay unless satisfactorily explained would throw considerable doubt on the genuineness of the subjective satisfaction of the district magistrate and it would be a legitimate inference to draw that the district magistrate was not really and genuinely satisfied as regards the necessity for detaining the petitioner chairman reddy judge speaking for the bench in bhavar lal versus state of tamil nadu 1979 one scc 465 has explained as follow it is further true that there must be a live and proximate link between the grounds of detention alleged by the detaining authority and the avowed purpose of detention namely the prevention of smuggling activities we may in appropriate cases assume that the link is snapped if there is a long and unexplained delay between the date of the order of detention and the arrest of the detainee in such a case we may strike down an order of detention unless the grounds indicate a fresh application of the mind of the detaining authority to the new situation and the changed circumstances but where the delay is not only adequately explained but is found to be the result of the recalcitrant or refactory conduct of the detainee in evading arrest there is warrant to consider the link not snapped but strengthened stop